Hey there good people, welcome back. Today we're gonna tackle this entryway as much as we can. And I think I'm gonna do a shopping trip to find a vanity chair as well. I might go look at some options for my vanity um, organization. But today we're going to do two little projects, I guess. So for this entryway, I told you guys last time what my idea was and I've been looking for what exactly I was gonna purchase and I found two things. Number one, you could see me, hi. I went to Target and I purchased this mirror. And when I went, I knew I wanted an over the door mirror, but online I saw three colors, black, brass, and white. And I was, I was really unsure. And when I got there, someone had ordered this and didn't keep it. It was a return. And I really like the natural wood finish here. Um, in this area. I know it's dark. I'll turn on the light um, in this area. So boom And then also as you guys know I was looking for a little entryway table and I was gonna put a basket under for shoes and I was on Target's website and I was like, you know what? Why don't I just get something that holds shoes and has a top and so I ended up With this right here. So today I'm going to assemble this and put the mirror on the door and Tomorrow we'll handle all this space up here and find me a vanity chair. So what had happened was I didn't find these things shopping and I could have bought stuff impulsively, but what that means is that I wasn't sold on my own idea. And so I went to Ballard Designs, as I said, I did not go to RH Outlet. I came back home and I looked at what was there and I was like, I, I don't like this. Like, I, I don't like this. I need a different plan. I'm just gonna take a day. So. I took a day. Uh, I went to my sister's for Father's Day to celebrate my brother-in-law. And I talked to her a bit and I was like, oh, now I know exactly what I want to do. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So let me share it with you guys. So the entryway has now turned into this area and the area right there. So let's go a little lower. Okay, now that it's lower, I think you can see. So I moved this here and there's stuff over there. So let's look here first. And I intend to put those on the wall. I just wanted to check them out first. So you all saw me put this together, right? And this is where I'm housing shoes. These are where, when I'm going out to my back patio a lot, and these are the shoes that I'm wearing the most out of the house right now. These are like various, this is running shoes, and then shoes I wear to the gym. Ooh, I got an email work let me look at that <laughs> this basket i already had at the door if you guys remember but i wanted this to be a landing space for a few things right so inside this basket we have my purse the purse i'm using at the moment so when i come home 
I just throw it in here after I take off my shoes. This is if I need pads or anything. This is always in here. I put socks in here because when I come home, I take off my shoes and I put on these little socks that are like slippers for me. And when I need to like take something and I could just put it in here to remember, right? So I need to take this shirt and give it to one of my friends. And then I have my short under umbrella in here, right? And this is just such an easy, clever way to keep it all contained. And then if you guys remember in my last video, I talked about possibly having a charging station. And that's what this is, except it's in like such a compact way. So right here is a cord because there's a plug right there that has my regular iPhone, iPad charger. But in here are all my other chargers. So this is from a black designer. Um, I love her work. She is a um, pottery maker. And I bought this to house whatever. <laughs> I need to dust this. Um, but it has a charging station, basically. So this is the charger for my Garmin watch, right? Which I use when I run. This is the charging cord for my headphones, Jaybird Vista 2, that I wear when I run or to the gym. And then these are my camera chargers, right? And all of that can go in here. And then I just have a few spare keys in there as well. And it all goes in here very easily. And I can charge stuff as I need to. I can pull stuff out as I need to very easily every time I leave the apartment. I use these headphones every day, basically. Um, and there's, it's like really easy. And I have an extra power thing here, but I think I'm gonna put this in my office so I can charge my phone in there if I want to as well. I literally just put these up here. These usually typically go <laughs> in my purse. So there's that. And then I decided, I had my keys in here too, but then I decided that I wanna hang my keys on the wall. And so I have a hook for that. So I'm gonna do that right now. And then these two pieces here, I had in my last place these art pieces or prints and I was thinking of putting them on this wall to complete this wall because it's not really complete. And I put it up here to just sit with it for, you know, a few days a week to see if I really like it and I do. So today we're going to put these on this wall. But you see this? Yes, I figured it out. This like this is so simple. I didn't buy anything for this part. It all came from what I already had. It's so simple yet it's perfect. Let me show you. It's not clean. I'll clean it. But this base I've had here for a while with these branches. Boom. Perfect. And I still wanted a mirror here, but this takes away the need for like a whole wall of stuff. Instead, it's just a single mirror and I can still check myself before leaving the apartment. And then, well, I just put this here because I went grocery shopping, but this is where I put my reusable bags so I can pick them up on the way out the apartment. These stay in my car. But then this is an umbrella stand for the long umbrella I have that I never know what to do with. And this is an umbrella stand and that's all that's here. That is all that's here. I can check myself before leaving um, <laughs> to make sure I look cute still. But it's just, it's so simple yet so perfect. And it just flows really nicely to here. I didn't have to add a bunch to that wall right there. Um, I was gonna buy stuff, but I don't have to anymore. That room, that mirror was in my room. That umbrella stand my sister's had and was <laughs> never used, and I already had that. And so I still use this stuff that I just bought, but I made it so much easier. And this wall needs texture. It, it balances all of the prints and the uh, photos I have all over the apartment. And so I'm just gonna move those two prints down there um, to up there and right there, put the keys on a hook on this wall too, and it's just going to be perfect. And that's that on that. I am super happy with this. And I'm really happy that I did not settle and like just steamroll ahead with something that I really wasn't sold on because I love this so much better. So 
Next time we continue the apartment makeover series, I'm going to work on my vanity area in my room. I just need to get that together. Organization wise, finish decorating, etc. Um, I'm thinking there'll be more in the living room, but I'm not sure, so I'll let you know. And if you missed the gallery wall in the living room and my other photos, then check out this video right here so you can see the last apartment makeover video. And if you enjoy vlogs, then check out this playlist right here so you can see all about my lifestyle. And if you enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe before you go so we can see each other in the next one. Bye.